There's a truck and mystery that's baffled me for over 10 years, and I finally found out the answer. You wouldn't believe it. Back in 2011, I was running express freight, and I was doing a changeover one night. Now, all the Australian line haul drivers know what a changeover is. I don't know whether changeovers happen in America. So when you've got a trip that takes all night, quite often you run into the problem that you've got five day week, which means you do a round trip, you do a round trip, and then you go one night and you're at the wrong end. So what we do instead is on that odd leg, and occasionally all through the week, depending on what needs to happen, you go halfway, swap trailers with someone else and head back to where you came from. That way you get back to where you're supposed to be and the trailer gets to where it's supposed to be. So this particular night, I'm doing a changeover at Tar Cutter. Every East Coast line haul driver knows that place. It's affectionately known as the pin smashing arena. So I'm waiting for my changeover, I've arrived, I'm waiting for my changeover to get there and he hasn't got there. So I ring the company and say, where's old mate? Oh, yeah, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Yeah, an hour and a half later he turns up. And the idea of a changeover is that you leave at roughly the same time, you get to the halfway point roughly the same time, so the freight doesn't go late. Anyway, old mate finally arrives, and he drives into the uh, changeover bay and parks like a banana. He's got the thing sort of bent like this around the corner. So as soon as he pulls up, I've got the air and electrics unplugged, I've got the uh, pin pulled, and the legs are on the way down. And... Because I do these sorts of things, I start my walk around. Now, turns out that he parked that way for a reason. I thought it was just incompetence. Well, it kind of was. He was hoping I wouldn't do a walk around because from the side of the A trailer where I was winding the legs down, you couldn't see the side of the B trailer. There was a reason for that. So I start my walk around. I get around the front corner of the B trailer and whoa! Hey mate, you hit something. Uh, no? Oh, I reckon you did. No, oh, no, 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 I never hit nothing. Uh, you want to come here and have a look? I reckon you did. Yeah, right. So there's gouges down the side of the trailer. The spare wheel carrier has been caught and pulled at about a 45 degree angle. Two of the three outside tyres on the tri have been blown. Two of the three wheels have been buckled. And all three of the mud guards have been snapped off their mounts. Yeah, never hit nothing apparently. Oh no, it was like that when I left. Mate, I can absolutely assure you it was not like that when you left. Anyway, I got him on his way and I sorted out the problem. Uh, luckily a mate of mine, Brad, turned up and uh, he was able to help out because I only had one spare and uh, he gave me a spare from his trailer and between the two we, we got it roadworthy again and uh, got it to where it was supposed to be. And you should have seen the look of the management when we pulled up there in the morning. Anyway. As it turns out, the other day, I was talking to a bloke just randomly in a roadhouse and happened to mention that I'd worked for this particular company. And he said, oh, I remember a night that uh, I saw one of their trailers do a pretty wild thing. And I said, really? Do tell. And he proceeded to tell me the story of what happened to those trailers. Just purely random. He was following them. Apparently the bloke was swerving all over the road, must have been half asleep. And when he got up to the Tumbarumba Road overpass, which is a reasonably near bridge back in those days, he has gone from the left lane across the right lane and sideswiped the bridge. And old mate says, you should have seen the thing. The trailer, because it's got a concrete ramp that leads up to the bridge, as I'll show you in his photo just here. He sideswiped the bridge support and apparently the trailer went up the ramp like it did. It blew those tyres, took all the side of the trailer out, kicked it over almost 45 degrees. This bloke reckoned it was going over for all money. Somehow it stayed on its wheels. And then it landed, and the bloke kept on going, didn't miss a beat, didn't pull over, just ignored it completely. There were sparks flying when it did it. They blew two tyres. <sighs> Unbelievable. And when he pulled up, he pulled up in a way to try and hide that and then reckon, no, no, I haven't hit anything. These are the kind of capers that are going on and these are the kind of people out there. He wasn't that nationality or that one, but he was a super trucker. You ask him, he'll tell you. Oh yeah, shout out to the 36 Squadron, RIF. When I was a kid, they were based in Richmond, New South Wales. They had Hercules C-130As and then later C-130Hs. And just like me, they've moved to Queensland. They're now at Amberley, outside of Brisbane. 
and now run C17 Globemaster 3s. Had the pleasure of being a guest of them about three years ago now. They took me up in one of those C17s. Fantastic day, really enjoyed it. Good on you guys.